Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I know we have people from everywhere. Um, welcome to CGMA's interview with the masters. Today we have Melanie. Melanie is going to be a new instructor for our uh, next year, starting in February for our semester then. She will be teaching a fantasy portrait class. It's very exciting to have her. She is um, in Paris, so there's a time zone difference for everybody. And um, please give a warm welcome to Melanie. Hello, Melanie. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, let's uh, let's start with uh, maybe some uh, how you got started, or just talk about um, what interested you in art, maybe. Uh, yeah, well, I started ten years ago, I think, mm -hmm. um, by almost by mistake because I I discovered two D in three uh, D school. I wanted to create video games and I I discovered what I could do with uh, Photoshop so I decided then to become an illustrator and, um, and I've become completely addicted to that mm -hmm. painting things <laughs> so I started to create my own illustration and post it on several communities like CG Talk and everything happens very quickly at this time. I I get my first contract in less than a than a year and and everything started like that. So it was really quick. Mm, I see. Did you um, go to school at all, or how did you start your studies? No, for 2D, no. I'm a self-taught. As I said, I, I studied a bit 3D, but it wasn't my thing. I, it was a bit too complicated for me. I preferred Photoshop, and once I finished my my two years in that school, I started to work alone and uh, try to develop my skills in um, drawing so mm -hmm. i'm a self-taught artist mm -hmm. were there any um certain practices that you you did to to reach where you are today no, I remember the first thing I've done is that I one day I opened Photoshop and I was like, oh my God, what is this? There are too <laughs> many things. And I decided I spent one, one full day opening everything and testing everything. So, wow. and after that, the, the software was not a nightmare anymore so this the this is the only thing i i really I, I was really afraid of that and after doing that it was so much easier for me so i've done nothing any any particular only practice of course but mm -hmm. nothing else and at this time we didn't have a, um as much as videos we do have now on YouTube and everything like that. You can find a lot of tutorials and such. And 10 years ago, it was not like the same. You, you, don't have, you didn't have that much of um, tutorials online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting how you uh, opened up everything in Photoshop and tried yeah. everything out. Wow. <laughs> Man, I feel like I don't even, I should do that too. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, how did you figure everything out though? Like how, how was that like going through every like setting and everything? Well, it was to see, to, to discover the software really. And of course I, in the end, I, I use maybe one person of Photoshop. So it's a, it's a software that is much more for photo and, and such, not exactly for painting. So I'm only using three or four options and uh, settings. But it was really interesting to test everything. I wanted to know the software. Mm -hmm. Not only open it and use what I need. I wanted to see everything, mm -hmm. even if I don't use them. Mm -hmm. I see. Very interesting. Well, cool. Um, would uh, do you have any um, uh, work you could show, uh, like process or how you work? Um, well, yes. Um... <laughs> process full process i have let's start with uh, do you have anything in mind or okay. um anything maybe like we okay, can start okay. with some okay. early pieces or whatever you have is it working mm, let's see uh No, you see nothing. Mm -hmm. Go try it again. Okay, I can see your screen now. Okay, perfect. So let's try with that. So I usually start with um, this is um, a recent artwork. This is the finish. Mm -hmm. This is the first. <laughs> basic sketch I I start all, always like that with a quick line art and I apply a very rough color scheme on it to get the feeling of um, the final piece mm -hmm. so it's very quick and I'm not using a lot of brush I'm using maybe one or two to to get this and after that, I add, I start to add details and to refine everything. Hmm. And it's um, it's a long process, but it's um, yeah, it's. How long does something like this? Uh, depends. <laughs> That's the. It depends a lot on the composition, maybe two weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm quite slow, so I cannot do things in a rush and I need to think about what I'm doing. I need to have a break also to come back and have a fresh view of it mm -hmm. and see the mistakes and what I can improve or work more mm -hmm. so this is yeah basically how i work i see when you're starting these initial thumbnails um is there anything in particular that you're thinking about or like what uh yeah i usually start with a very basic id and i develop it as i construct the painting it's a long process and sometimes I come back and erase and modify a lot of things and it's it never end like I imagined it mm -hmm. it's, I don't know sometimes I hate myself because maybe here you see at this point I will decide not for this piece course but I will decide to change everything to add a background to change the characters placement position and I'm able to start everything at this moment 
-hmm. to create another thing to develop it. I, it's uh, it's I don't really have a very when I st this, the first sketch is not the final thing. Mm -hmm. It's just a base. Mm -hmm. And I, when I paint, if I have an idea, I add it. I don't hesitate to hide it to add it. Mm -hmm. I have maybe this one. Mm -hmm. This one was a, it's a good exam. I started with this, for example. This was the uh, the ID, my first ID. Mm -hmm. So, but I I think it's it was not very dynamic. The composition was flat was boring and I quickly decide to change it to give a more um, dynamic composition to give her something more interesting and uh, I continued with also the colors I changed the colors later I don't know why. Sometimes I don't understand. Even myself, I don't understand why I changed the colors. But I, I think when you work on Photoshop, you can change everything. So why don't change everything? Mm -hmm. You see? No. <laughs> what I'm saying doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh uh, I, what I understood was you have the ability to change yeah. so much, so why not uh, experiment, exactly. right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and is it more like feeling-based? Because you're it's saying you're, you don't really... Feeling-based. It's... Um, I have my basic ID, and um, I don't know why I feel I need to change it that I, I can improve it. Mm -hmm. So I, I try and uh, un, until I get something I like. Mm -hmm. Does a story play a big part in your work mm -hmm. at all? Or no, 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 no. I don't really think of, um, of a real background story for my character it's not it's not really important when i'm painting i construct the this, this story while i'm doing the the painting oh wow I'm like oh yeah if you add some word and such like that it, it could be interesting but i don't have a real story at first Oh wow! Interesting. Yeah, because when I when I look at this image, I I can almost imagine like some warrior in like an RPG game or a movie, or maybe yeah. yeah. It was the basic idea, but I added a lot of details, and it was not prepared. And I, it comes like that. I have um some ideas and I try, I test. I test a lot. I try a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't feel very confident with my first catch. Usually I, I need to change and to try different things. Mm -hmm. It's a part of, of the process, I think. It's, it's completely different when you see the final and the first it's uh, oh yeah wow and the first sketch well it's not oh okay do you sketch traditionally a lot like this uh yeah sometimes but i don't like my sketches a lot it's quite well quite messy and i don't like them mm -hmm. so it's 
here well everybody can understand it but usually it's it's only a doodle that looks like nothing and I'm only I'm the only one who can understand it and see the final painting mm -hmm. this is completely different <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no. It's, it's not terrible. It's part That's of... why I don't show them. I don't, <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, are there any other artworks? Do most of your artworks like start this? Do you work the same way usually? Yeah, or? always. It's terrible. And um, I... I I can't explain it. It's very. Uh, I I really need to take time to create something. Um, well, this one I had a deadline, so I I I had to to be quick. But when I need to, when I work on my personal things, I it it can last for well, two weeks, three weeks, and I need huge breaks to really think about it to well to 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 well to see the final painting i cannot do a sketch i i think i've never done that well except maybe this one and um, because it was I need, I had a deadline, so but usually my sketch don't looks like the final painting. I really need to to think about it. Like mm -hmm. traditional painters, they had to wait to wait for painting to to dry, and I think I need the same thing this time. You know, this it's like um, you need to think about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't like to work in a rush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really refreshing to hear because from my experience uh, working digitally, especially like with clients, you have to do it really fast. Yeah. And you like you... Do good, good things when mm -hmm. you work fast. I think it's not possible. Definitely, and like you were mentioning, the traditional artists like they they would take like months on a painting, right? Yeah. Just working everything out. But I feel like the nature of digital is so easy to just change everything all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the problem too. Because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I can change everything, so I change everything, but maybe sometimes it's not necessarily necessary. But it's cool, I like to, to be able to add maybe more space here if I think my character needs more space. And uh, that, that's cool, you, you can do that in traditional painting. Mm -hmm. And I think I. I, it's it's the thing I like the most in Photoshop, being able to to try and test and change. That's you have no excuses, you see, mm -hmm. to not having something good in the end. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that helps you make those decisions? Because there is so much you could change. How do you know when? If that's like what helps you make those decisions. I don't know. I, I feel it. I don't like it. I, I'm I'm working on a piece and I'm like, no, this is shit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, <laughs> and I'm like that. No, it's not possible. I cannot. Uh, I don't like it. What can I do to improve it? And and now and then I start to test to try to. I change the composition, I had a background, I changed the light, the colors maybe, that, that could be a, an issue, the colors. And I try a lot and I think it's, it's, it's the, the key to, to have a, a great 
final illustration. But I really feel it. It's only because I don't like what I'm doing. I don't like the look of it. I don't like... Uh, it's pretty hard to explain. It's mm -hmm. really a feeling. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Are there any other pieces that have... Um, uh, like something that you struggled through a lot and then eventually it came out I how you want to? Uh, all the time, so... <laughs> 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 Maybe this one, it's the, it's kind of, it's the same. This is the final. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. I will not like it forever. I, I like <laughs> my artwork for maybe two months. And after that, I hate them. But, well, <laughs> and this is the, the awful sketch. <laughs> and I did change a lot of things. Actually, I changed the light. I wanted something very bright. Um, I don't want it dark things. I don't want it. But I ended up with something very dark. And I did change the light. Here I decided to to have a different lighting, a different background too. I played a lot with the contrast. I changed a bit the colors. But the difference it's is not as is not obvious. Mm. I agree, this is not very different, but I did change a lot of things because I wanted something very light and I find at the end I, I had something a bit more dark. Mm -hmm. I like that dark things. Mm -hmm. Can't help it. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> Um, we have a question from Jamal. Jamal saying, uh, I see Melanie mostly does portraits or single character scenes. Mm -hmm. Do you do anything outside of that? Perhaps outside of your comfort zone? Oh, yeah, I do. I, uh, I choose some portrait because of the, the workshop, but I do, I try to do, um, I, I also struggle a lot with architecture. When it's um, when I I need to do um, perspective thing, it's difficult for me to construct the image. But I I will have to mm -hmm. well I will hide my screen because I have some things I don't want to show to the world. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Yes, there it is. Uh, the second one. Yeah. Second and yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. See nothing. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Um, wait, but yes, I I like to do. I prefer to, portraits are my favorite subject. That's. I, I cannot deny it, but I also like to to do different things, like um, well, uh -huh. sorry. Mm -hmm. No worries. It's coming. If my computer wants it. <laughs> it's going to be a big reveal. Yeah. Okay, where is it? Uh, let's go. Can you see something? Yeah. Yes, we see Photoshop, a blank document, though. A blank? Yes. Oh, no. I see it on the thumbnail, though. Mm hmm. I 
now. Hmm. Still not able to see it. Uh, can everybody? Can every everybody else see it? What you could do, Melanie, is um, the navigator on Photoshop. You can make that bigger because I could see it on the navigator, but I can't see it on the actual file. Um, maybe it's it's pretty. It's, I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. And now? Yay, yes, we can see it. Okay, perfect. So this is oh, not the portrait. Cool. And uh, here we have a, a real background. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle a lot to do it. I'm not I'm not very good at perspective and such. It's definitely difficult to create but i do like to 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 create artworks like that not focused on the character mm -hmm. try to tell a story different story mm -hmm. yeah this is a beautiful piece i love the composition and the way you lit it it's surprising when i asked you about the story because there's so much story I feel like there's so much story in this piece. Well, you can invent your own story. This is what I what I like. I don't mm -hmm. want to 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 tell my own story. I want people to create their own and imagine what they want on a on a piece. It's, it's I think it's uh, it's interesting to hear them mm -hmm. imagining their their own stories. I have mine, but it's mine. Right, right. Could you talk a little bit more about this piece as far as uh, process and also story? And The process was exactly the same as the, the other ones. I started with a quick sketch. And uh, what I, I knew that I wanted something uh, I wanted her to be very small in a big city, kind of lost. So I quickly decided to add a lot of towers and buildings and huge columns. And the, the process is exactly the same. Um, I, I, I start with my sketch and I construct, I slowly develop the ID, but I don't have anything. I don't, I don't really had a very precise story or ID. I just wanted her to be like that, waiting for someone. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you didn't notice, noticed it, but nothing else. I, I just wanted to to play with um, architecture, even if I'm not good at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like Trying she's to, to challenge your, ourselves. So mm -hmm. definitely. Was this like personal work or like client work? No, it was. Uh, it was not a real commission. It was for Imagine Effects. They wanted me to um, explain how to paint a fabric mm. that is a bit um, well torn. I think it's the the word. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up, I, I could have just painted her, but I ended up with a full scenery thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, um, you, you, you're carried away with your ideas and it was fun to do. I, I like it. 
Yeah, this Again, is a beautiful piece. Months. This piece was a two-month piece? No, I think I've done it in two or three weeks. I three think. weeks? Yeah. I see. How? Um, there is not a lot of detail, actually, in it. When you, when you zoom it in, mm -hmm. it's only... It's not very defined and there is not a lot of details. It's only... So suggested the buildings are not really clear and clean. You can see the brush strokes, so this is not very worked, I think. Mm -hmm. But I like this kind of render, this look, it's... Um, looks more like painting, I think. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, Robert mentioned that it has elements of Dishonored in it. In it. No, but I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Do you have um, any other like personal pieces or that you could possibly share with us? Uh, like? Or I'm gonna close again this because I want to keep some private for now. Of course. Just tell me which, what style, what, if you have something in mind. Um, maybe a piece that um, helped you grow as an artist that really <gasps> took you to that next level, maybe. Uh, Took me at the day. <laughs> if that, if that helps. All everything I've done helped okay. me. It's uh, it's it's just um, practice. So each time you do something, you learn something. That's there is nothing. Uh, you there is nothing. Not a particular piece that helped me to 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 be become better it's everything helped mm -hmm. me um all of them i do you see the the screen not yet not yet no okay uh -huh. and now Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, each one of them helped me to to reach another level. Uh, it's uh, each time I try to to paint something different, so to learn something different. And even if it's only a quick sketch, um, this one is not very there. There is not a lot of details, but I I learn something. Uh, the same as some uh, more complicated one. It's I don't have a particular thing artwork that the uh, I struggle for everything. So um, and I want to struggle like that because it keeps you it it helps you to to go further. You know, mm -hmm. if it's some if it's easy, there is no interest in in it. Mm -hmm. We have a question from Cheryl. She's asking if you have any paintings of guys. Of guys? <laughs> uh, no, 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 not a lot. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Maybe later, maybe in 10 years, I will be completely bored with women, so I will paint only males, but not now. <laughs> I see. How did you um how do you cuz for me as an artist I struggle a lot with painting faces. Um do you have any tips or advice on how um, you approach your, the faces that you paint? Take your time. This is something it's the most important thing. Take your time. And 
uh, if you have a doubt, so there is no doubt. This mm -hmm. it means there is something that doesn't work. So do it again and do not hesitate to do it again, again and again. It's um, I know that when you see a finished painting, it seems so easy. You think, wow, that's that's cool. Um, the artist did it like that. But no, there is a long process behind it and, and a lot of questions. So don't hesitate to re rework everything and practice a lot. That's all. I still struggling a lot, so I like that. But there is no tips that will make you paint a perfect face in uh, in two seconds. Hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there will. There is this kind of uh, magical thing, a uh, magical button to to work with, but no. There is <laughs> only practice and and time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's it's good to hear that. It's very refreshing. I feel like taking your time is important, even like later, right? And when you're more comfortable with drawing and painting, I feel like people are so rushed to finish things. Yeah, I also think that that no, you you have to take your time. It's, um, I really think it's the key. Hmm. Sometimes I, 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 I'm, I'm, on, I'm on in my, in my illustration, I'm working on it and I need to print it. So I print it, it's not finished, but I print it on a paper and I have it and I'm going doing something else, watching TV. And then I, I look at the paper, the print, and I'm like, okay, what's wrong? And I, you know, I, I, I really need to have a fresh look on my works. So I do take time and I think everyone should take time. I know that this is not what's, uh, it's not common now. People want to finish things quickly. We need to, to, to post and almost every day a new artwork that's, that doesn't make sense, but as you said, painters, uh, old painters, too, they, they spend six months a year on a painting. Mm -hmm. Today, it's not possible, and it should be. We should yeah. spend a lot of time. If you want something of, of quality, it's not possible to do it in a rush. Definitely, definitely. We have a question from Robert. Do you paint space scenes? Like, for example, let's say Star Wars, art scenes, or other sci-fi characters? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I adore science fiction, uh, but I don't paint that. Um, again, like a male character, maybe one day. Why not? <laughs> and I, I, I would love to, <laughs> but no. But no, uh, I don't know. It's um, it's strange because I like that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I love space suit, but I don't paint them. Paint them. Mm -hmm. Question from Cheryl: Do you use a lot of low opacity for your blending? Uh, no, I don't. Um, low opacity. Um, with the brush or layers? Um, let's see. I'm assuming either or for now, but we'll see. Even if, do you work in low no. opacity for, um, with for my sure. brush no when i paint i i usually i use um my the opacity is always at 100 percent always mm -hmm. and if i need to play with layers then yes i use uh, 
I change the opacity of the layers, but never the, the opacity of the brush. Okay. You paint different um, brush strokes and to have um, less maybe colors on the canva, I just press, um, I, I use the pen pressure. Mm -hmm. You see, I, I don't change the opacity there, but here, do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I use a very low pressure on the pen, and here I'm just killing my pen. <laughs> but never here, never. I I I just leave it at one hundred percent. We have a question. But it's from... up to you. It's not. I think it's only. I prefer to 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 do it like that. But it's it's. I think it's personal choice. Mm -hmm. Hello? What? Yeah. Sorry, I got kicked out for a second. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a question from Brooke. Um, let's see. I'm sorry, Brooke. Could you uh, ask that question again? I lost it on the chat. Sorry, having some technical trouble. No problem. It happens. It's Sunday. <laughs> That's normal. Mm, what happened? Alrighty, we're back. Okay, uh, Brooke is asking, did you do a lot of uh, anatomy or head studies, painting from photos, etc.? Well, uh, if I need, yes, of course. Uh, reference are also a key to have a, a good painting. You cannot throw everything from imagination. So yes, and I encourage her to to use reference and such and practice from photos from friends if, if she needs to take pictures of your friends yourself and try to learn from that it's uh, it's crucial nobody can paint like that so without references it's impossible I see. Um, did you draw from life too a lot or study from life? No, I would love to, but it's not possible. Unfortunately, I, I can't. I would love to have um, more time to practice outside, but no, I don't have a lot of... When I, I go outside, it's for having it for my it's in my free time so i don't want to paint to draw it's not um do something else but i would definitely would like to have more time to practice that to to paint mm -hmm. what i see like that i used to do that when i was younger 
and when it wasn't my work. But now, now. Mm -hmm. I see. Sorry, one second. Just having some more issues. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Okay. Okay, great. Um, are there any other um, artworks that you could show that um, continue to exemplify what you're working on? Um, <clears throat> well, I... I prepared, yeah, I prepared this one. But again, it's the same process. Mm -hmm. It's not very <laughs> fun, actually, but it's a good example. Here, I did change the color. I wanted something green at the beginning, and I ended up with something completely desaturated and gray. But I decided that quite early in the process. I don't know why. I don't even remember why I decided to change the color. But I, I think it was because I just wanted something cold. And the green was not, was not cold enough for me. So I did change that, that color. But as you can see, it's the same process and I I think I do have some layers in that. So maybe we can see how I did start that. So this is again the very bad sketch. <laughs> and <laughs> and I slowly start with one layer, layer upon layer, construct the the character. So I do change a lot, I do correct. The, the face and until I get something I like. I'm, I'm searching a lot on the looks on the, what I want with my characters. Here I wanted something. I wanted her to have a very well, dreamy look, if I can say so. I don't want it to be very awake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, for this piece, for example, do you, yeah. are you using reference as you're going? No, or no? Well, no, I didn't. I I really there is a lot of layers here. I really started from nothing just I wanted a simple portrait and I think I don't even want it to have swords on the background background but I I choose to have some very quickly it, it was just something maybe just a sketch a Sunday sketches that ended up like that but not in a day of course and mm -hmm. uh, no, there was no reference. I remember that I struggled a lot for the crown. I I was not sure of what I wanted. I wanted something traditional, but not very complicated. And I, and in the end, it was a bit complicated. Mm -hmm. And now the. I had a uh, difficult time to, to to create it. Even for like the swords, um, you uh, didn't utilize reference. No, because it's something I I already have in mind, and uh, <clears throat> I don't have to. For some things, if you you paint 
the first time you paint swords, you don't really know how to paint them. You really don't know how, how to design them. But when you paint them for the maybe 10, 10 times, it's, it's more easy. You know what you have to paint. So I don't really need for those elements. I don't have a lot. I don't use references. Wow. But I'm sure it's not correct. <laughs> no, I cannot I... <laughs> tell. It looks, it looks correct to me. No, no. I only see the, the mistakes and, the, and what's wrong. That's the, that's the problem. <laughs> that's why I, I'm, I was saying that I, I like them only two months. After that, it's not possible. I cannot watch them. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm see. like, no, that's completely off. What have you done? It's awful. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, yeah. Could you talk a little bit about um, what you might be teaching in your class if you have that? Yeah, well, I'm going to teach that. <laughs> <laughs> Portrait painting, and it's going to be huge fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to 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 go slowly. And um, I, I really want to, at the end of the workshop, I'm going to make everyone work a lot. I'm sorry to say that, but I'm going to ask a lot of work because I want at the end of the workshop that everyone will have at least three or four finished artwork. This is something I really want to have something real, you know, mm -hmm. not only course and, and, and tips and techniques. I want them to have finished things to show, uh, to, to post in the portfolio, portfolios on their website. I, I don't know, but I really want them to have finished illustration. So we're going to, to learn the basics, how to start a painting, how to compose and work with the composition, the colors, the light, everything we're going to see in details the face features how to paint eyes lips nose everything mm -hmm. and it's going to be really great i think awesome Very yeah. Awesome. yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> so guys we have about uh, five more minutes left so if you have any last questions please go ahead and Melanie. I'm so sorry for my poor English. <laughs> Apologize. It's fine. I was able to understand everything you said. Ah, that's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> I will sleep well. Thank you. <laughs> of course. And uh, same with you, Melanie. If there's any anything else you'd like to say before we end this interview. Oh. <laughs> um, no practice. That's that's the key. It's uh, even if you just sketch, uh, do it. If you want to prog progress, if you want to um, learn something, you don't have to to try too hard. Just do every day a little sketch, and everything will comes. It's a uh, it's only practice. There is no big secret behind this. It's it's practice. Mm -hmm. And even after 10 years, you're still learning something. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. It takes time. But with practice, you, you can do everything. And post everywhere you can to get some tips some um, advice from from everyone it's uh, it's it's great i started like that so don't be don't be shy just post your works mm -hmm. awesome um a question from brooke she's asking is there any prep we should do before the class no Absolutely no, you don't need to. I will ask, um, I, I would love to see some works of the students, just to know, just for me, to know their level, to know what they are able to do, 
that's all, but nothing else. I am not asking for anything. Don't, don't worry about that. And if okay. they don't have any artwork, that's not a problem. Okay. Great. Any more questions? Uh, yes, Cheryl, you'll probably upload them onto the CGMA website or however. Yes, probably. Okay, awesome. Well, Melanie, thank you so much for this interview. It was really refreshing to see your work and just listen to you talk about taking your time <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. Okay, I hope I wasn't too boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was fine. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, we have another interview after this one, so maybe I might see you guys there. And if not, you guys have a wonderful day and great vacation or wherever you guys are right now. Yeah. Take care. Happy Christmas and everything else. <laughs> All righty. Bye-bye, guys.